Hello, this video we are going to look at the last question of the level 1 genetics variation paper from 2019. Uh, question number 3, very short question, so let's get into it. Um, the topic of um, this topic is called genetic variation, so the last question normally looks at um, what creates variation, why is variation helpful in terms of the species survival, so this is normally a very very repeated question. Um, so let's make sure that we can understand this part. So what is generate genetic variation in um, curry trees? Like say for example, I know um, um, lots of senior biology classes take their students to the zoo to look at the animals, to look for variation, and then they just say there's no point. Just look at just look at the classroom. Everyone is different. We are very very similar yet very very different because. The um, genetic variation just means differences in our genes. Okay, so that's what genetic variation is. Okay, differences in the genes, differences in the DNA, in the genetic material, however you want to word it. Very simple, achieve question. And and then this is the last qu uh, last part of this question. This is straight looking at the exons. Um, now. Sexual reproduction is a result of, um, sorry, um, genetic variation is a result of sexual reproduction. Okay, so there are two ways of creating genetic variation. Sexual reproduction is one main reason. Now, just off topic, um, another one is mutation. Mutation also creates genetic variation, but because they already asked the genetic variation, in, um, sorry, mutation in question one, they're not going to do it here. They just focuses on sexual reproduction. How does this lead to the survival of the species when faced with the cauri dieback disease? So you need to talk about the meiosis and fertilization, how sexual reproduction re um, leads to variation in the population, and the link with variation to the survival of the species. So I'm just going to drop down um, a few keywords here. So meiosis, um, so sexual reprodu reproduction is the fundamental part of genetic variation because during my sexual reproduction, two things happen. Meiosis. So meiosis, you create sex cells. Now, sex cells are also known as gametes. Actually, you should use gametes and then bracket sex cells. Okay, so this is the um, the sex cells, and these sex cells. So as a result of meiosis, you create unique sex cells. Every single sex cell that's produced from meiosis are completely unique. They each have half the number of chromosomes, com um, half the number of chromosomes compared to the normal body cell. Um, why does that need to be half? Um, because um, you need to combine two sex cells to make a full set. So half plus half give you the full set. Um, so that's why they have half the number of chromosomes. And they, these, half, um, these chromosomes are unique because of two processes. Um, one is called independent assortment. It's how these guys, because if you look at the diagram of meiosis, um, I'm pretty sure, that I, I, I don't think you ever required to draw meiosis, but if you look at um, how these alleles are randomly assigned or lining up, it's completely random how they are pulled apart, how they line up, how they get assorted into the gametes, into the cells, completely random. And then the other part is crossing over. Um, so that's what happens when you have chromosomes getting tangled up and when they are lining up during the during meiosis before they get pulled apart because they're all chemicals they get you know squished together like say for example you have you know chromosomes like this tangled up together they can exchange a bit of the chromosomes with each other and then each chromosomes will be fine because they still have enough information and you just swapped a bit of information so because of these two processes and these are completely random events, okay? So every single gamete, every single gamete that we produce after, you know, during meiosis are completely unique due to these two processes. So the gametes are really unique and they have the half number of chromosomes. And so that's the first part of my um, sexual reproduction is meiosis. And then, so you have the sex cells ready. Now they need to they need to be used, they need to be fertilized. So this is fertilization. Fertilization. Oops, can't spell today. Uh, fertilization. 
So this is the fusion of gametes. And this is, com again, completely random. So fusion of gametes. Now, th again, this is random. So all of the gametes that we produce are unique. And then one of these gametes are going to be fused with another gamete and all of these gametes are unique so we don't know which gamete is going to be fertilized with the other one so complete so that just increases the randomness so that's why um, off, um siblings you're very similar to each other but you are very different because you, you, you you're extremely similar you'll be uh, more related to your sibling than you know to another human being but um you will be different to, to a certain degree in terms of your genes because you the, the gamete that fertilize you versus the gamete that fertilize your brother and sister will be a little bit different because of the process of meiosis, because of the unique gametes being produced in, after independent assortment and crossing over. And then the randomness of which gametes get to fertilize with the other one, again, completely random. So you create an individual offspring that's completely unique with a new, uh, with a with a unique set of chromosomes and a unique set of genotype and phenotype. Okay, so that's why um, sexual reproduction leads to variation. And why is that a good thing? Um, sexual reproduction um, is really important in terms of the species survival. It's like say if we use the cowrie trees as an example, if you have um, what variation means, so variation that means you have different genotypes different genotypes different genotypes means you have different phenotypes different proteins that are being made and they end up producing different characteristics different phenotypes slash characteristics and if you have a disease like Cori's um, Cori dieback disease. If you have um, some individual, some of the Cori trees which are immune to the disease, just by the chance of having a different characteristics because they have different genotypes, because just by chance they have um, you know the the unique combination of chromosomes that allow that that do allow them to survive against the disease that make sure the species continues. So if every single tree, like say quarry tree, if all the trees are similar, they have the same chromosomes and they all clones of each other, if they, if one is susceptible to the disease, catches the disease, that means the other ones are more are going to be susceptible as well. Um, so this is looking at disease. So just remember, having a, a different, you know, the importance of having different um, having a variation is that you have different phenotypes so you can survive things like disease um, things like drought um, you know these are the most common ones like lack of food you know you know very very um, important idea okay so let's have a look at the long answers so this is an excellent question so we do expect to go into detail in um, with the answers so sexual reduction produces variation because of meiosis and fertilization so meiosis again you have random assortment independent assortment crossing over you create unique chromosomes and then they have half the number of chromosomes and they are all unique so it's pretty much what i just explained and fertilization then takes place so remember you make first make the sex cells then this gametes combine with each other and then this all random they're all unique and then you have a genetically unique offspring okay so sexual reproduction you have new combination of alleles and you have genetic variation so how is that important so some individuals will survive and they can reproduce and they can pass on the genes and then you can continue the generation so if you have um, and I always use the example like say um, you know how the zombie apocalypse movies or TV shows like say The Walking Dead was really po uh, popular so it just means like why are these po why, are, why are those characters um, immune to the disease because of variation so they may have a com unique combination of genes that allow them to be um, immune to the disease while the other people are all infected and becomes, become zombies or dead okay so it just means that variation allows some people to survive and then they can grow 
um, um, they can find food, they can then reproduce, and then their children will have the same good genes that allow them to thrive in the environment. So the six, um, so the the, the generate, so the species can be continued generations after generations. Okay, so that's again a very very important concept. The topic is called genetic variation, and you can definitely expect a question like this. So I'm gonna you know put stars all over this page. You need to learn these. Okay, this is um there you can you can I can almost guarantee you this type of question will come up in the exam. Memorize it, understand it, and then produce it in the exam. Okay, so I hope um, this three videos have been helpful. Smash the like button if you found um, if you learned anything new, and um, subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.